In 1957, there was a Japanese expedition to Antarctica using dogs and sleds. Now, the expedition was a disaster. It had to be abandoned, and the dogs were left behind. When another expedition went out a year later, they found, amazingly, that two of them were still alive. Those two dogs became national heroes of Japan, and as a result of that, it became fashionable in Japan to own a husky-type dog. And as a result of that, the leisure sport of dog sledding returned to Japan. I've come here to this uh, remote part of Hokkaido where they do dog sledding using a descendant of the Russian version of the sleigh dog known as the Rusky Husky Ski. And let's be honest, what could be better than this? This beautiful scenery, the silence of a sledge, it's going to be like being Prokofiev. It'll be fabulous. Right, James, only one in a million people will get that reference to Prokofiev at the end. Yeah, well, they That's might just think, oh, there goes James being a bit pompous and intellectual again. Am I being pompous and intellectual? Nobody's ever said that. Well, they've said pompous, but they haven't said intellectual. Am I being pompous and intellectual, viewers? Press the red button now. I am. <laughs> well, should we just do the end bit again, then? And I'll say it's going to be like being... It's going to be like being Raymond Briggs. What about Elsa from Frozen? What? <laughs> <laughs> I decided to let it go. Helping me learn the ropes is local sledhead Mr. Tarada. Not too much break. I can't ski. As Tarada-san releases the hound, I try desperately to remember the crash course he's given me. Irony noted. I stand on here. If it's going slowly, I can stand like that, but if it's accelerating or going around bends, I've got to crouch, a bit like a pooping dog, and move my weight like that. And if you come and have a look at this, when you start panicking, there is a brake, which is sort of two paddles that go down into the snow, so I can stamp on that panic and squeal like a girl. And the words I need to know are Daru, that's the name of the lead dog. Hi! <laughs> that meant go. Well, that's <laughs> That's a lot faster than I expected. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that bit. Can you go a bit slower? Put the brake on, though, put the brake on. OK. Oh, God, there's a bendy bit coming up. Can't steer. Oh, <laughs> Whoa! Here's the door balance. Sorry. <laughs> Sue me, my son. Eventually, though, my runnings finally started becoming cool. Right. So I don't know how these relatively small dogs haul this enormous sleigh with big fat me on it. Whoa! Jeez, it's exhausting. Oh, I wish I had more time to appreciate the lovely scenery here, but I'm desperately trying to hang on to this bloody thing. Hi, hi, hi. Go wide in Japanese. Ooh, I'm using a little bit of braking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Oh. Stopped. Oh, very nice. Ah. Ah. Okay. Change, change. Yes, you have. Yeah. Jeez, that's the that's the hardest thing I've ever done. Ah. Cut.